All right, so I finally figured it out. Um, Alice's single player just does not work. So whenever you load the game, um, it just constantly just opens up a blank ass map and just drops you in the middle of the ocean. And then no matter how far you swim, how far you go, you run into just ocean, no land, no nothing. So there's no map. Um, I figured it out. So what we had to do is we had to download the island editor for Atlas. Once you do that, you got to load up the load it load it up. And then when you go here, you go to load project. You're going to see all these different ones right here. Do the 11 by 11 if you want the full full uh, map. Click that. So boom, cool. You load up the entire map. You got the whole map. Now you got everything right here. Everything is good. Everything is there how you want it. I'm just going to uncheck some stuff. Okay, cool. Okay. So first thing you're going to want to do is go up here to your project. Hit save and we're going to do server grid 11 by 11 new. And then save that in the projects. And that will be your JSON file. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go up here and you're going to want to go to project. Create. OK. Right click this Atlas ID and then copy that and cancel. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go up here to project edit go underneath the atlas id hit that control v or right click and paste and everything should be good 11 cells by 11 everything is the same hit edit okay and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to export all and scroll down to where you find your export um, uh, folder for your Atlas server grid editor and hit OK. Now the export folder shouldn't have anything in here. It should only have nothing. These are the three things that are going to get generated. It's going to be your server grid 11 by 11, your seven, server grid 11 by 11 JSON and your server grid 11 by 11 dot server only file json okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go underneath your steam file where you have atlas go to steam apps go to common go to atlas go to shooter game and when you get here you're going to paste these three files right here now when you have that when you have all that stuff done you're going to go in here and you're gonna hit rename and you're gonna get rid of the 11 by 11. Server grid, rename 11 by 11. Server grid, rename 11 by 11. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start up Atlas. All right, first thing you're going to do, you're going to head over to single player. Uh, choose ocean. Hit play single player so that it builds the data. Just gonna load a preset. Do we still have one? Probably not. Okay, no. Okay, let's just make a quick character real quick. Bring him up, bring his head up.
Okay, so when you open it up, you should have your brand new map. You should load into land. You got land, you got a grid, you got a fog of war, you got everything where it's supposed to be. So I hope, I hope, I hope this helps because I don't know why this wasn't in a, in a patch in any of the hot fixes or any of the patches that they come out with. I don't know why. They can't just do this initially for their single player. Like, why don't I just don't understand why they can't have the map and have everything just where it's supposed to be. And that's something that needs to be addressed in whoever's decision making of or whoever's developing Atlas and whoever's with the development team and whoever's making these decisions. They need to go over this and they need to just implement this as part of the game because nobody in their right mind should have to go through all of this just to make a single player lobby work not only for themselves but just for a small group of their friends but i hope this helps i hope this helps you guys um ggs and fair winds and following seas talk to y'all later